Well, his competition is about to get started, as it will for all of our 10 athletes. And it starts with event number one, Trial by Stone, presented by GORUCK. And this is a little bit different here in 2020 in that it is not just a stone lifting event, but it's kind of a medley. It's going to test these athletes in different ways than maybe this type of apparatus has in the past. Yes, yeah, so, so the, the Trial by Stone, you have to lift five stones as quickly as possible, but there's a medley of pressing and then loading and then an endurance event with carrying the, the Husafel slab. Those stones are fat, the four first stones are fashioned after the famous Inverstone in Scotland. They're made by uh, Polycore, the, the uh, granite company, Swenson Granite in, in New Hampshire. So it's white granite, just like the Inverstone is. So these are beautiful implements. And I can't wait to see what these men do with these stones. They're, they're all experienced with stone lifting and stone carriers. It's coming up on a decade of elite strongman competition experience. One of the older competitors in the field at 39, but one of the strongest with brute strength as well. Here he is on the 275 pound stone, fairly easy to the chest. And he has wow. you like overhead. <laughs> I like it. Now 300 pounds, this would give him the early lead. Jerry's a staple on the top top level strongman circuit, and he's showing you why. Seems like the press is the easy part. He got the down, that's great. He's very, Richard. very close. He's just using his time. He's going to wait until he gets to where he can actually have the Pusafel stone. Is his last implement. He's out of the box. Can he make it the full 50 feet? I think he's got it. He's moving his feet. He's breathing. He's got a good handle on the stone. He got it. Three points. Doubling his score, Jerry Pritchett. He did with those early stones up to 300 pounds. So seven points on the board for Jerry Pritchett. He's your current leader. And now your defending champ, Hapthor Bjornsson, the mountain will take on Trial by Stone, presented by GORUCK. Super efficient lift up, position. Even though his wide shoulders are there, outside of the stone, he just shot it right up. One point on the board, now the 300 pound stone. Easy, he looks like he could do this all day. That one came off his shoulder a little bit on the descent, didn't phase him, a 300 pound stone. Now 365, easily wow. onto the barrel. 400 pounds. One of the great stone lifters ever. Makes quick work of the 400. Now he's down to the Husafel stone. He's under a minute. I thought he was going to go under a minute, and I think he's going to do it. He's got about 15 seconds. Quick lift up to his lap. Here he goes. Does he have the grip on the Husafel stone? He's making his moves. Being a little careful here. Make sure he doesn't drop it early, and he puts quick it down feet. under a minute. Under a minute. That's what I was talking about. I thought he would go through this medley under a minute. Can't let that, you can't rush and make a mistake because Hafthor did not make a mistake. Trial by Stone underway, Kieliszkowski. I expect that, an excellent press. So at 10 seconds, he's got the first two stones done. This is going to be the tail of the tape right here. How well does he get this stone up? Very good. Excellent. Faster on the first two stones, maybe a bit slower here, getting them to the barrel, but able to complete the 400-pound stone, and now it's the Husafel stone. He got that one. He was really worried about that poor stone, but obviously, you know, I didn't think that would be a problem for him because last year he shouldered that stone five times. It weighs more than that. Here he comes. He's going to be under a minute. He looks like he's going to be closer to 50 seconds. Kieliszkowski moving his seat. the new time wow. to beat. Wow. Unbelievable. 10 points, perfect score, and the fastest time so far. 10 points on the board in just over two minutes. Really efficient, beautiful lift. What I really love is that four stone where he turned the stone. He's got shorter arms, so he made it a little more available to himself by turning the stone around. That's thinking. That's exactly what you got to do. Now watch his hands. He's 
pressing his fingertips into that stone. They're sliding, slipping. He's moving his feet because moving your feet is distance. And then he totally commits to getting it over that line. Wow. Efficient lift right up. It's a very good presser. Little Little stone on the top. And you can see that left leg. Look at the limp off the end of it. I don't know what happened there. I can't see if that's his lower leg or his foot. Because he is a good athlete. A great athlete. It's always done well with him at the end. And I can't tell if it's his left leg. I, if Sam, I don't know if you, you saw something I didn't see. He's sort of limping a bit. Looks like a hamstring kind of because he can't put his heel down. Uh, yeah. told, it's his, told his ankle is the issue here. Ankle, okay. Up to the shoulders. Really efficient lift. There you go. He's a great presser. And again, just hopping around off that left ankle. Okay. He's done very well in the past. He's a very good presser. He's bowing out. And again, with an athlete like Shivlyakov, being the oldest in the field is not necessarily something that makes it harder in the here and now because of his you know, strength, his ability to qualify for this field. But it means that window is getting shorter and shorter, obviously. And so you, you would love to see him be able to compete at his peak. And unfortunately, it's just not there. That's very unfortunate early on. Good read on the first stone, efficient up to his chest, rams it overhead. Strode a little bit with the second stone, but eventually was able to get it over his head, uses his hips to get the stone up over his face and then press it out. Very experienced with stone loading. He didn't have to turn the stones. Methodically, step by step, digging his fingers in. Look, how he's, look at that concentration on his face. Taking deep breaths, taking deep breaths, moving his feet.